All right, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to My Twisted Life and TV. I am Poetry. Uh, we are going to be here for uh, Cooking Street. That ain't going to be live because we ain't got no damn internet connection. As y'all know, there are like storms hitting the coast of uh, Florida. And up here in Orlando, we getting the rain. So it's been raining since last night, off and on. Like it'll stop for five minutes and it'll pick back up. And it's not even rain raining really heavy now. It's like a real light rain, but... Our interconnect, internet connection ain't being stable. I tried to do the live three times and uh, it just didn't happen. So what I'm going to do is just still cook my food because we still hungry over here. And you get to see the magic happen. And uh, thank y'all for those who try to come in their stream like three damn times and uh, work it out. So let me tell y'all what we cooking today. Honey garlic chicken. Um, this seems so weird because I can't talk to y'all like for real for real talk to y'all. I guess it's gonna be kind of like a traveling talk and a P and TV all the same damn time. Um, then I just heard Keena flush the toilet. Like really? <laughs> I ain't never heard it before. So double crunch honey garlic chicken is what I'm gonna be cooking. Um, gonna go through the ingredient list here because I know some of y'all said y'all was gonna cook it tonight too. If you haven't uh, seen the community tab, it's posted up there and a link to the actual recipe um, because he even has like, if you want to bake it instead of fry it, he even has that too. So, you come in making all the damn noise. Black folks. What is that? Oh, it's cat food. Yeah, I'll put that on floor. So the internet signal went hold. I, we tried three times. Yeah, and the storm just slowed down. No, it's been terrible for like weeks. So, and then I thought after the chicken thawed out, this is all this stuff. So we're supposed to be in four chicken breasts, right? I'm still gonna record anyway. You know it's not live. It's supposed to be four chicken breasts, right? Well, I thought I had bought chicken breasts. Evidently, I didn't. I bought chicken tenderloins, which are basically chicken tenders. So, when I cut them up and took them out, it's only this is enough for like me and Tina. That's it, for real. So, I got some more over here, you know, being cleaned as, as I'm preparing this. And I'm going to go through our doggone ingredient list so y'all can have this stuff. We supposed to have four large, boneless, skinless chicken breasts. We got eight skinny chicken tenders. <laughs> but still, they chicken breasts. Hey, don't he, 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 so, since I don't have no more flour and I don't feel like running to the stove, I'm going to substitute with cornstarch for that other cup. Cornstarch ain't going to do nothing but make it more crispy anyway. So, we're going to have probably triple crunch instead of double crunch. Okay. Then, it says four teaspoons of salt. I told y'all I like some garlic, so get the Lowry's. We're going to use four teaspoons. <laughs> Lowry's garlic salt. <laughs> um... Four teaspoons of black pepper. I got the ground black pepper this time, y'all. I still got my peppercorn, but it's up on... Oh, here it go. Yeah, it's like it's I said, so what's the one up there on the shelf I can't reach? Oh, that one and who the hell keep putting my damn popcorn on top shelf? Is that new? Or is that full? Oh, oh that's it. Well, I got the peppercorn, too. But since I need four teaspoons, I think I'm going to go ahead and use the ground. It's easy for me to get out. Then we need one tablespoon of ground ginger. Got our tablespoon of ground ginger in the building. No, that ain't right. Go back for a second. Four large chicken breasts, two cups of flour, but in our case, one cup of flour and one cup of cornstarch. Four teaspoons of salt, which I'm using garlic salt. Four teaspoons of black pepper. We got that on lock. 
one tablespoon. Oh, I messed that up. Three tablespoons, three tablespoons of ground ginger. Ginger is a strong spice. You want us to put three tablespoons of that? Three tablespoons of ground ginger. One tablespoon of freshly ground nutmeg. Okay, this ain't freshly ground. We bought it at a store. You know, sometime like in the last year, beginning of this one, but it's ground nutmeg. So we got one tablespoon of this. Uh, two teaspoons of ground thyme. We ain't got a ground. We got little, little fresh packs. You know what? I can squeeze it and grind it up. That's how we can do that. Um, two teaspoons of ground sage. I ain't got ground. I got rubbed. We're going to work with the rub sage, okay? Um, one teaspoon of cayenne pepper. Bow! Booyah, baby. One teaspoon. Let me say that this video is not sponsored by none of these products I'm showing you. Okay. Uh, two tablespoons of paprika. Booyah, bam. Uh-huh, paprika. Paprika always makes stuff taste good. Four eggs. Now, I know we're supposed to be making an egg wash. And in my mind, we don't need four. Three was good enough for me, so I only took out three. I got three eggs. We don't use four. I don't believe we are. Um... Eight tablespoons of water. And that eight tablespoons of water is supposed to mix in with the eggs. That's all I know it. Okay, so two tablespoons of olive oil. I keep forgetting that I don't own olive oil no more. So I'm going to substitute that with the sesame oil because they're the same consistency. Mm -hmm. um, three to four cloves of minced garlic. Oh, garlic. This is my minced garlic. Three to four cloves of this. Now, so on here, does it always say it? One tablespoon is supposed to equal three cloves. I add as necessary because I like garlic. So you might get two tablespoons. Um, One cup of honey. Bam, I had to turn it upside down already so it could already come out to the top. One cup of honey. A fourth of a cup of soy sauce. Now, let me tell y'all about this soy sauce. I use the bottle of choy. Soy sauce, right? I don't like Kiko mine. My mama got Kiko mine. See, she got... My mama got Kiko mine. I don't like Kiko mine. It got a weird taste to me. But I like LaChoy. But ain't no stores around Orlando got LaChoy sauce. You can go into the store and get Kiko mine all over the place. It's everywhere, right? But no LaChoy. So I started Googling it, trying to figure out what stores carry it. Or, you know, maybe some smaller stores like Family Dollar, something like that got it. No, nobody had it. So I came upon this article that was talking about soy sauces. And then I found out the choice soy sauce ain't even soy sauce, y'all. It ain't made out of no bit of soy whatsoever. My dog is hungry. He threw up earlier. He is chewing his butt off. So, so the choice soy sauce ain't made out of, ain't made out of not a bean from a soy. Nothing, right? So, on the website, they had a bunch of different um, soy sauces. Some Japanese soy sauces, which Kikoman is. Some Chinese soy sauces, which they were in Chinese, so I couldn't really read the labels. And then they had one Indonesian brand. Okay, so, I was reading the description of them, and I like stuff kind of sweet. Y'all know me, right? And so, the Indonesian brand is the only one that specified it was kind of sweet. And when I was reading all the other ones... It was like the Chinese brand, if you get light or you get dark, the dark is mainly for cooking. The uh, the, the light one is mainly for, you know, putting on the food. And, you know, but some of them have some pungent aromas and stuff like that. So I said, you know what, I'm going with the Indonesian brand. So me and Kina, we went to the, uh, the Asian market today. And I got this soy sauce. This is the Indonesian brand. Sweet soy sauce. Let me show y'all. I'm going to pour this right now, y'all. All my damn measuring cups. I guess I need to finally, like, separate this so I can use them individually. I got some more measuring cups somewhere, but fuck, I don't know where they at. I have a blue set that I ain't seen in a month or some days. Where the fuck would the measuring cups be going? I hope 
don't need a fourth of nothing else. Okay, so I'm gonna pour this so y'all can see how thick this damn soy sauce is. But I'm gonna leave it at the fourth. At first, I was gonna cut it in half. Nope, I ain't cutting nothing. All right, let me get into this bottle. Where the preparation at? Like that. I ain't fucking get to the damn bottle. I can't figure out. Let's see what happened. It's thick. And they say if you don't store soy sauce properly, then uh it can go rancid or other shit. And I can't get it over. What the when shit? I can't get it over. I can't get it over. Okay, well, we bought another brand. I was trying to show y'all the thickness of this one. Okay, y'all can see it through the lid a little bit. Look how slow it was pouring like molasses. But I can't get into the bottle. Yeah, it won't. Yeah. Be right back. So not only, and I'm looking at this, y'all, and I see that I can't get into the bottle, I just noticed the expiration date. That mug expired August 30th. Wait a minute. What year is this? 2020. Oh, it ain't expired yet. <laughs> Let's see if you can open it in. The thing came out. It was a pool tab. This. So I can't get to the bottle. Yeah, I tried that too. It ain't expired. Never mind, never mind, never mind. I thought this was 2021. <laughs> but I was trying to find you. I was like, because I want to use this one. I want to show them the thickness of it. Do I need to like poke a hole or something? I ain't got no tweezers. Maybe I poke it with a knife. And I'm keeping the camera rolling because this is how we'll be doing it like in the live. Y'all will be seeing all the fuck up, so you might as well see them now too. <laughs> the can opener. Let's see if the can open do it. Beat the hell out of it. I, I did something. I did something, Kane. I did something. I got a gasp, a gash in it. Okay, we got something. Okay. Fourth of a cup. This is right big enough. Huh? Was it big enough? The hole? Think so? For how thick that is? I don't know, man. Maybe you can make it out bigger than that. I, I used the can opener. Let's try to make it bigger. I, I think that's as good as we gonna get. Okay. Fourth of a cup of soy sauce. Some more ammonia on there. That's a fourth of a cup. Wait a minute. Why I gotta do two? Did I read that right? Mm -hmm. Four teaspoons of black pepper, one tablespoon of black pepper. What the fuck? Well, that says brown black pepper. Lord Jesus. Okay, so here the let me show y'all how thick this is. This is soy sauce. It's gonna pour out like molasses. If it ever pour out. <laughs> Came out so slow. It's gonna take a long time to get a cup, a fourth of a cup. <laughs> it's all that's in there. <laughs> we gotta make a bigger hole. <laughs> oh 
Gonna come with a knife this time. Oh Lord Jesus. This some thick ass shit. This little oh, okay. All right, here we go again. Here I can see the thickness. It still pull out so slow. Yeah. I don't know how y'all. I'm a can it. Can you be my sister and pull that until you come out to the full quarter of a cup? Okay. Oh my God. <laughs> okay, and so after the fourth of the cup of soy sauce, then we're going to eventually get... We need a tablespoon of black ground pepper. This Okay, so... I guess I'm going to use four teaspoons of this then? And then I got ground pepper again? And canola oil for frying. We ain't got no damn canola oil either. We got Crisco. So that's what we're gonna do. Vito, what is wrong with you, son? Huh? Huh, son? Huh, son? Girl. This gonna be a journey. So far, this is all we got. We need a fourth of a cup. So that's all the ingredients, y'all. I hope we didn't miss nothing. I'm gonna go back over them real quick, like while we still trying to get this soy sauce out of here. For a large, boneless, skinless chicken breast, two cups of flour. But in this household, we using one cup of flour and one cup of cornstarch. Okay, um, four teaspoons of salt. We're gonna replace that with four teaspoons of Laurie's garlic salt. Four teaspoons of black pepper. And since I realized there's other pepper in it, I guess we're gonna use our ground peppercorn to get four teaspoons of that. That's so weird. Um, three tablespoons of ginger. You remember you tasted the ginger? They want us to put three tablespoons of this stuff in there. Uh, yeah, because you're gonna cook it. You're not gonna just. That's potent. Okay. Um, one tablespoon of ground nutmeg. Two teaspoons of ground thyme. Again, ours is not ground. I don't even know where the hell ours is at now. Where the fuck I move it? But we need to get this off. Because it's blocking it. Alright. And no sisters are going to do nothing. I'm going to do it this way. I'm about to get my hands. I lost the time. Mm -hmm. I lost the time. I had to pack. It's a package of time. I uh, didn't stick it back in the closet. What the hell I do with it? Still it. You don't taste bad. You don't taste bad. Mm. Okay. Cool. Oh, here we go. I hit it. Nice. The time, the fam, you know, all that. Two tablespoons of ground sage. Again, we have rubbed sage. We don't have ground. Um, one teaspoon of cayenne pepper. Oh yeah, baby. Two tablespoons of paprika. Mm -hmm. Four eggs for our egg wash. I'm using three. Mm -hmm. um, eight tablespoons of water. I forgot that this video take it. I can't record like a full hour now. I got to do like segments. Okay, we got the we, we got water. We got water. We got water. We paid our water bill. Two tablespoons of olive oil. I'm gonna use sesame oil. So that's what we got, okay? Um, three to four cloves of minced garlic. I'm gonna use two heaps, y'all already know me. One cup of honey. Let me go ahead and squeeze this out too. I might need some more honey. This don't look like this a cup. Let's see, okay. Fourth of a cup of soy sauce. Keena working on it right now. She said the soy sauce does not have bad flavor. So we got that too. And one teaspoon. That just seems so weird. A ground black pepper. I need more honey too. I just bought more honey. What did I do with it? And it's priced in the other room. Uh, and then the canola oil for frying. Okay, we good, we good. That's all our ingredients right there, y'all. All our ingredients. Okay, so that way I ain't got to chop and screw this entire video up. 
a whole lot. I'm gonna pause right here, go find my honey, and then we gonna come back and start making shit. That's only a half a cup, damn. So a whole bottle is a cup? Wow. All right, so right now we got our honey measured in the cup, one full cup. Keenan worked it out. Got that soy sauce, a fourth of it measured out. Um, I got, I might need a bigger bowl. A cup of uh, flour, a cup of cornstarch in there. And now it says mix my salt, which is four teaspoons. That's a fourth of a teaspoon. Four teaspoons. Four teaspoons of salt going in. One, two, three, four. All right, my four teaspoons of salt. What else going there? Four teaspoons of black pepper. I don't, I don't understand why we're going to use so many different types of black pepper. So, I'm going to just use this one, y'all. Just let me know that right now. Four teaspoons. Teaspoons, right? Four teaspoons. I might want to pour that. It's a lot of pepper, it looks like. One. Two. Three, four, four teaspoons. All right, it's in there. Look, that's absolutely good. Let me see, 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 let me see. Four teaspoons of black pepper, the ground ginger and nutmeg. Let me, I'm put it up here for me so I can know. The ground ginger, the nutmeg, the thyme. Where the sage go? The sage, paprika, and the cayenne. All that go together. Oh, this is the one I only supposed to do the half of it. <sighs> they said this is enough for two batches. Damn it! I should, I, mean, I was trying to get to that point and like put it cut it in half. Oh well, I ain't cut it in half, so we just gonna keep it going. Three tablespoons of ground ginger. Tablespoon. Three of these the ground ginger. One, two, three. Now, on this recipe, y'all, it said it's supposed to take 15 minutes prep time and 15 minutes cook time. I'm all ready to hour. <laughs> okay, um, one tablespoon of freshly ground nutmeg. Nutmeg. Tablespoon. Right in there. Okay, what else we got? Two teaspoons of the time. Like I said, our time ain't grind. We got fresh time. Well, fresh bag time. I mean, I mean, I could probably grind it up in my fingers. Boom, one. Two, in there. I got a mess on the stove right now. Uh, two teaspoons of the ground sage. We got rubbed. One. Two. And when you cook it like this, pay attention to the, if there's a B in there so you ain't doing tablespoons instead of teaspoons. Pay attention. Pay attention. It's going to fuck you up. Food be tasting all kind of nasty. Two tablespoons. Teaspoons. <laughs> Just said it. One teaspoon of cayenne pepper. Did I skip the paprika? Oh, no, I didn't. Okay. You don't want to put a tablespoon of this crap in there, man. Your mouth be on fire. Okay. And two tablespoons of paprika. Tablespoon. All right. 
Now our recipe calls for us to sift it. I ain't got no sifter. So basically, I'm just gonna mix the shit together. Oh wait a minute, do I got a big bowl? Hold on. I got a bigger bowl. And I got a strainer, but it really ain't a sifter. That's all you're doing is really just mixing it up, putting it in there together so you can go through the thing together. Come out one lovely, one lovely day, lovely day. Lovely day, lovely day. Oh no, it's I spill it anywhere. Lovely day, lovely day. Mm -mm, that ain't working for me. I'm making a mess. I got stuff everywhere. I don't spill half the dog on the stove. We gonna stir it up. That's all sifting is. It's mixing the stuff up. This is what they call the dredge mix. And then according to the dog on recipe, we only gonna use half of this mess. I want me to put the other half in the Ziploc bag. What if I don't like it? Then what I'm going to do with this old mixed up mess? Hold on, I got to wipe my stove down. That's a mess. I done made a mess. A lovely day. A lovely day. A lovely day. A lovely day. Okay. I'm supposed to be cooking like green beans and candy carrots and all that stuff too. But I got to get this together right, y'all. Okay, so I'm doing all that. I mixed it all together. Use half of it. This that's like what the hell? Mix this shit all together now. Use half of it. All right. I got a Ziploc bag. I mean a sandwich bag. I ain't got no Ziploc bag. We gonna use half. This was some bragging that could be us. What's the? You know what? Let me put the other half back in that bowl. I realize I'm mixing some ingredients. They ain't even mixed all together good yet. Let's mix them back up again, okay? I'm just gonna try it again. Now put a hand over in the bowl. Alright, leave the other half in there. Oh, they got a lot of got a lot of pepper in it. A lot of pepper. Let's put that bowl up out the way. And I'm gonna make a mess again. Make a pure D mess. Again. Alright. Alright, so got that going. Okay, so now make an egg wash by whisking the eggs together in the water. So I need it. I think I was gonna do the wash in here. How many tablespoons of water I need? Eight. Eight tablespoons of water. Eight tablespoons of water, mix our eggs. Make sure you don't get no shells in there. I'm making what they call an egg wash. Eight tablespoons of water, and it's supposed to be four eggs. I got three. Mixed. Good. All right. What else we got going on here? Um. Season the chicken breast with salt and pepper. Then dip the meat in the flour and the spice mix. Put some more salt and pepper on the chicken. Put some more salt and pepper on the chicken is what it's like to. Hold on. Let me see. 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 Let me
Hold up. I got these other pieces over here. Remember, I told you I didn't have enough. All right. So we finna season this chicken that's on the on the on the thing my jigma. Like the sweet said, season with more salt and pepper. Sprinkle me, baby. Go ahead, baby. Sprinkle me, baby. Go ahead, baby. Sprinkle me, baby. I'm using my black peppercorn to sprinkle salt and pepper. Da -da 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 Dip the breast into the egg wash. Season it with salt and pepper. Then dip the meat into the flour and spice mixture. Uh-huh, uh-huh. I know I ain't supposed to crowd this bowl, but I'm crowding the bowl. One, because I'm hungry. I'm ready to eat right now. Plus, this pepper starting to get to me. Maybe we did eat the whole thing, you know what I'm saying? Dredging. And then once I mix it all up, put the lime in the coconut and mix it all together. I don't know why I keep singing that. Alright, so we got it mixed. It's dredging. It ain't mixed good. I use my damn hands. This is too much playing. Taking too much time to get done. So it's fully coated. You see, fully coated in the little spice mixture. And then we put it, dip it the breast into the egg wash. And then do what? And then put it back into the flour spice mix. And the egg wash. Flour spice mix. I tell you, I think I needed that second bowl. Okay, so. Dip in the egg mix, coat it. Dip it in the spice mix, coat it. I guess this makes the double crunch since we dip in it twice. Dip it in the egg, in the egg mix. Coat. Dip it in the coat. Gonna have like a little factory process going on here, it didn't work that way. Oh, yeah, man. oh I already did that part. Do it backwards in there, in there. Okay, so that recipe said that spice mix that we made up is gonna make enough for two. Lies it in. Glad we got enough in this bowl right here. In the mix. In the mix. What am I supposed to be doing after that? Make sure you got good contact, they say. Good contact. You got good contact. Am I supposed to leave it in here? Oh. Egg wash. With chicken. Yeah, you dipping the chicken in the egg wash. It's like you dipping the chicken in his babies. This is nasty. And up, wrong thing, egg wash. It's too much. It's too much interaction. This better be good for all this, what I'm doing. Yes. I got a couple more pieces. Egg wash. Mix it on in the dredge. I'm putting it over here just like in another pan, y'all, just so I could 
Got somewhere to put it. Because my bowl ain't big enough for all this interaction. Last piece. Egg wash. In the bowl. Got to dredge me. It's all dredged. My fingers are dredged, y'all. My fingers are dredged. And I'm going to just pour the rest of this on top for right now. Because, like, what the fuck am I going to do with the rest of it? It's gone. I shake, shake, shake when I'm ready to cook the chicken. I'm gonna do it that way. Let me get this. Look at it. Look at it. <laughs> okay. Y'all gonna feel like y'all at the live stream because that was just a mess right there. I ain't gotta do nothing else with this egg mix, just so I'm gonna, I better not have to pull that crap out. My stove is a mess. I put things away. I hope I don't need no more of this stuff. I haven't used the minced garlic yet. Some of the dredge down in between the stuff. So right now I just got the chicken coated in that stuff. That's what I got going on. Okay, out the way. All right. So now it says heat a skillet on the stove with about a half inch of canola oil covering the bottom. I got a good old cast iron. Cover the bottom with a half inch thick. Bam, okay. Put it on medium medium high heat. Oh boy, and the, and the thing said he did it on four and a half. So, I got it on 4.75. Okay, what else we got going on? What else we got going on, y'all? Okay, so. After that's cooked and stuff, I want to carefully regulate the temperature so that my chicken don't brown too quickly. Okay. The thinness of the breast. Yeah, right. Okay. Four and a half out of ten. Yeah. And then gently cook them four or five minutes on both sides. I know chicken breasts take long to cook the four or five minutes, so we just going to gently cook them until I think they done. Okay, so after this, 18 minutes. Okay. Um, Now I got to make the honey garlic sauce, y'all. Honey garlic sauce. Um, let me get a clean bowl. This would have been so much funner on camera with you guys, but you know, the weather's like, not today. Not today. All right, so I got a new bowl. Clean bowl. While I'm doing that, I need to get my green beans and my baby carrots together. That don't look safe. My green beans, I do uh, a Japanese or Chinese buffet style. Put three tablespoons of butter in the skillet. Skillet. I 
throw in fourth of a cup of water. tablespoon of garlic I add um, onion bits I got this onion I'm just gonna do some shakes comes out looks like about a teaspoon and then I'll actually put some soy sauce in there. Teaspoon. Let me get them green beans going. I got uh, fresh green beans that have been frozen. I use the long ones. They already been pre-washed, but I, I rinse them again to get some of the ice off of them from being frozen. I do like a handful for a family member. Because we don't really do leftovers around here. is not going to eat carrots so I'm going to do a potato for her and some baby carrots I'm not gonna do that many because it's only me and my mama eating these carrots. But I put them in the pot first. Enough for me and her. I'm gonna put uh cover the carrots just right above. How many we got? You know, with water, and then let them cook on medium heat, like 20 minutes. And I'm gonna come back and add a tablespoon of butter, a tablespoon of honey, and a tablespoon of brown sugar. And then the carrots will be done. And cook for like a few more minutes after that. So, there we go. I'm gonna cover this with water. Carrots on. Let them be cooking. Medium high, also. Awesome. All right. Move my cutting tray. What else I got? Okay, I'm on the the sauce now. To make the honey garlic sauce, in the medium saucepan. I need a saucepan for this too. Let's oh, shit. saucepan 
I'm supposed to, oh, what, medium heat? Okay. Um, add two tablespoons of the oil. I mean, it's supposed to be the canola oil or olive oil? Okay, well, this is for doing the, uh, this is for the purpose of doing the garlic. It's supposed to be three to four cloves of garlic. I'm gonna just do a heap. There the heap go. Okay. Cook over medium heat until Done. Okay. What's going on with this grease? Oh, it help if I turn it on. Alright, so. Alright, y'all. So, off camera, I started putting the chicken in the grease already. The recipe says for it to cook five, four to five minutes on each side. And then let the chicken drain over a wire rack. The green beans are cooking. The carrots are doing their thing. Um, I think the garlic is cooking here. Everything seems to be cooking. Y'all should have a good view. Oh, the stove. See if I can zoom in for you. Nope, can't zoom in for you. Let's see, you bring it down a little bit. That's what's going on on the stove right now. That's what's going on. Okay. Try to give y'all a good view of something. I don't know what I'm using this oil for. Oh, I use that for the garlic. So that's cooked. And it says don't let it burn. Then add the honey. It's a lot of honey, baby. That's a whole cup of honey. Add the honey. And add, if I add the honey, I add the soy sauce, I add the soy sauce, then one fourth cup, it took us so long to get out the bottle, the king says it actually has good flavor. I'm not supposed to let the chicken brown too fast. This is an electric stove. So, you know, sometimes our electric stove heats up when we don't want it to. Just from um, working in a restaurant, I like to keep my chicken moving. I got to keep on moving. I think I missed some of the green beans. Oh, I didn't put them on. I didn't see them. Cooking, chicken cooking, this sauce right here. I'm gonna show it's gonna be mixed up, okay? So, this is what I did. Can y'all see it, Papa? That's the honey, the garlic, and the soy sauce mixed together. Make sure I'm not gonna burn that chicken over here. Got one more minute on that side, according to the recipe. 
So I'm gonna follow the recipe. I just know that she better be done in a minute. That's what I'm saying. It says to put it on a wire rack when it's done. I thought I had a wire rack. This is the wire rack that we have when we barbecue. So this is the one I'm gonna use to put um, the food on top of. When I take the chicken off. I'm sure those of y'all who cook know not to flip shit towards you, to the grease to splatter on you, flip it away from you. Mm -hmm. Alright, I'm trying to put everything up. Get it out of my way. I don't need nothing else. Yeah. I feel like I'm missing something else. I got a good penis potato. Okay, so if you want a quick baked potato, you get you the spam. You spray the potato with the spam. Sprinkle some salt on the outside. Throw that baby in the microwave for six months. It tastes just like a baked potato coming out the oven. I swear it will. Just like a baked potato coming out the oven. You do it right. Okay, so okay, what else we be doing with this mix? Add the honey, soy sauce, and the Okay, I did all that. Then what's next? Oh, simmer for five minutes. I got to turn it down. The little mixture got to simmer for five to ten minutes. It's been heating up for a minute, y'all. Want this to catch the grease. I might just open the whole basket up. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so then. Oh, that's it. So after it simmer for five to ten minutes, you remove it from the heat. It say allow it to cool for a few minutes. Uh, make sure it don't foam up. If it start foaming up, you know, turn it down. And then it says the um, what I do? I add the chicken to the mix afterwards. Or do I pour it over top of it? What am I supposed to be doing? Listen. Dip the chicken pieces into the sauce. All right, that's how we do it. We dip. We dip, baby. Dip. Come on, dip, baby. All right, so I got a couple of minutes on this chicken here. Like I said, I got to make sure my chicken don't burn. I like to move it around. It has a lot of pepper in it, y'all. I don't want it to get too. I don't want it to be burnt biscuit crispy. I like crispy chicken, but the rest of the family don't like it the way I like it. So, gotta make sure I ain't making it so hard that people can't eat it. This is the double crunch. Yeah, I mean, it's gonna be crunching. It looks good to me though. But I guess once we dip it in the honey, mix it. And, uh, yeah, do what it do, baby. Just be careful not to burn it. So this one piece right here, y'all. This is how brown it is, golden crispy. Put it in this wire basket like they say. I probably should have had the water basket on this side. Alright, so that's that. That's that on that. Let's go with the next few pieces.
all fully dredged and ready to cook. Shake off the excess. You don't want to overcrowd your skillet either. One thing I can say though, you can smell this ginger, baby. This ginger is potent. You can smell it. I got two more pieces of chicken in there that's still cooked. Okay, so. Alright. This one is done. That's all because it's starting to foam and it said they didn't want you to foam. Let's stir it up some more so it won't foam. And then I gotta let it cool down for two minutes. And then once I let it cool down, then I can start dipping the chicken in. I'm gonna sit it over here so it's cool. Alright. Everything over here still like it's cooking pretty good. Green beans cooking, carrots is cooking. Let me go ahead and get King's potato on lock. Ouch. You gotta drop something every time. I dropped the pan, dented the can. I spray the potato with the pan. Give it that fresh baked feel. It's really cooking. That's only been in our three minutes, and that's already cooking things. Sprinkle that potato with the salt. You start cooking things? You start cooking with these feet? Hmm? You turn it down? Yeah, turn it down. You take it off that fire. Let's have the first one cooked. You just got to turn it down low. I did. I just threw it in. I mean, no one would have got it. It's off the fire all together. Mm -hmm. Is you then? Yep. Oh, okay, that one. Nope. Oh, you did. Oh, okay, I see. So, the second batch, y'all, I put it in the grease. Y'all saw the first ones came out all nice and golden brown. The second ones came out a bit more melanated. <laughs> Just saying. So, see if I can show y'all pieces that yeah, my finger ain't gonna burn. There you go. The difference in the two. We, I'm still going to eat them. Just let y'all know that. But I had turned it down. But we took it, I took it off the fire together. I still got two more pieces to cook. Put it in there and start it. That's how hot the grease is right now. Mm -hmm. It's supposed to cook five minutes on both sides. That cooked three minutes. So I hope it's done. Let me see. Yeah, look. Well, looks like it could have went a little longer for me. That's the same as cooking off the stove. Okay, so carrots. Done. It better be done. Oh. What I do to I don't know what I do to what I'm looking for, but they cook them fast, I mean. Carrots. Honey garlic chicken. Okay. That's the honey garlic sauce over there. Okay. The heat. Bam. You know.
You mean you have to turn it to the back of these? Yeah, same. It's already burning. Mm. That's what's burning. That's, that's, that's a lot of ginger. <laughs> uh, that's a lot of ginger. Okay, maybe I need to stick them over here. Yeah, look, look at them. And the burn, and the burn ain't even on. <laughs> that's crazy. That's that burn I'm telling you. Okay, so ain't no more in here. And then he said, back, this supposed to make two batches. Mm -hmm. Now, how you use almost whole time? Sometimes people don't know their own recipes. Mia, what you find? I got the chicken. Oh, what you got? Mm -hmm. You found it quick. I hope you like ginger. He inhaled it. So, we just cooked the rest of this chicken off the burner. All together, y'all. And. Hair is still kind of uh, hard. It's supposed to be tender, nice and tender. I cooked it for 20 minutes. How much time on camera? Oh, I got 13 minutes. Okay. 13 minutes for what? Before the camera runner. Drop number four. Alright, so now we're supposed to take this and dip it in here. Yeah, the, it made the melanated ones kind of extra melanated looking. But that's alright, we're gonna eat it anyway. And somehow to me it makes it seem like the honey ain't gonna be I mean it ain't gonna be crunchy no more once you put the honey on. The sauce. Yeah. Okay. If y'all uh did this too, make sure y'all go to the Facebook page and post a picture of what y'all turned out looking like. Cause what ours turned out looking like <laughs> ain't the picture. As always, y'all know how we do over here. But I don't know. Y'all won't see me on another cooking stream though until September. I was gonna like do another stream, but it ain't gonna be a good one. Oh, October. <laughs> For a new location, maybe it's like we were new back time. Those wasn't as known. That's why they still on the farm. Through the fire. I wonder what this look chicken look like to y'all on y'all HD cameras. <laughs> Cause 
you know when I post it up, I might have to throw the filters on this mug just so, you know, I can have some bounce. Okay. Where's my parsley? Uh -oh. My parsley. Oh no, 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 no. Not the parsley, we're the chives. Flakes. They're not as pretty as a chair. What are we gonna do? Not as pretty as a chair. Okay, so. Oh shit, I think I said some more. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah I look this piece. That wasn't done. That looked done now. Yeah, I'm twisted. We gonna fit. Oh, I guess I can give y'all a look. So you can tell the difference of the ones with the honey on it compared to the ones that's still in the skillet. I'm saying it's like a we having like a civil rights movement over here. Oh, man, All right, let's put them on in here, let it drain, and then dip. And I guess I can do an ending to the video. <laughs> My carrots. Perfect. Not too sweet. Just the right amount. Um, the chicken. Once you add the sauce to it, it's no longer a double crunch. The ginger really stands out. I'm not really getting a lot of honey. But I guess that's a good thing because you don't want it too sweet. But my Japanese, my Japanese style green beans. Mm -hmm. Always a delight. That's the blade, y'all. That's the blade. I'm gonna get up here and eat. Thank y'all for watching. Thank y'all for being here. Peace.